Well, hello, everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Let me know if my microphone is working great. Uh, it's great to see some people here. Uh, oh, hold on. I think my microphone is wrong. That's uh, Mike. Yeah, let's see here. Which microphone am I plugged into? Working awesome. The microphone's working great. All right, then I'll leave it alone. Just wanted to make sure. Always seems to be why I screw up. But hey, welcome to everybody that's here. Great to see so many people who are um, here waiting for it to start. Thank you to everybody who jumped on early and sat and waited as the countdown happened. Really do appreciate your support. I'm very thankful to everybody. If you're watching this on replay because it will be available in full on replay on YouTube directly after. Uh, uh, audio is a bit blurry. Okay. Um, I'll look. Uh, but if you're watching this on replay, uh, I will be live every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. I think it's going to be the new time for this. Let me see here if I can switch the audio and see what I'm doing wrong here. As we do that, if you have any questions, keep them coming in. I will do my best to answer them all as we go. All right. Let's see if this is any better for the audio. I will them all as we go. All right, so um, let me know if the okay is if fine, if the audio is okay. In the 80s in Indiana, I wish it was in the 80s here in Michigan, it is not good um, uh, being here. Sounds like wrong mic. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hold on. Oh, now let's see if you can hear me. Is this better audio quality? Oh, so let me know how that sounds, if that's better. But if you have questions, bring them in. Any word on Dish DirecTV merger? Um, at this time, Dish and DirecTV um, have no plans to merge publicly. There's been a lot of talk that they're, they're interested in doing it now and they want to be able to merge soon uh but both companies have regulatory issues both companies have um issues with uh probably stockholders and stuff i think probably we need to see a little bit bigger decline in sub, um, satellite subscribers before that's become a reality but i would just suspect it's less of a merger than more of dish maybe buying out direct tv if I had to say it was going to go anywhere, I would say it's probably going that way. Of course, Dish has their own issues right now to deal with post um, hacking, where they had that ransomware. They don't call it hacking; they call it a security breach or whatever they call it. So, I uh, gotta love that. But hey, so many great people here! Wow, um, over a hundred people at the launch today. That was awesome. Again, let me know what you think of the seven p.m. launch time. A little bit of that works better for me. Um, when I lived in Texas and did, did these in Central Time, it was always 7 to uh, 8 p.m. Now that I'm in Michigan in Eastern Time, so it was 8 to 9, which caused me a little bit of trouble because I have two young children. Excuse me. That we want to be, I would like to help put down the bed and they were going to bed when I was doing this, putting a lot of work on my wife. So hopefully this is a little bit better so I can finish and go help put the kids to bed and see the kids at night. A little bit. Plus, I start work at 7 a.m. Uh, the old time took me, I worked from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Wednesdays. That was kind of a long day. So um, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Hey, Luke, can you do a review of fiber optic internet? Very interested in CenturyLink here in Orlando, Florida. So I've had CenturyLink before, and I was pretty impressed with it. Um, there were some issues with it from time to time. Um, overall, honestly, I've had gig from CenturyLink with fiber. I've had gig from Comcast and Spectrum with uh, their uh, cable internet, we'll call it. And I really have not had a problem with either one. I've been very pleased with both of them. Uh, but I was not in a symmetrical that some of these places are doing now. I wasn't getting a gig up and a gig down. I was just getting gig up and, I don't know, 2030, or excuse me, gig down and 2030 up. 
So it's a lot different for everybody with that. Is YouTube TV going to change a lot for NFL? So we did post, I'm assuming you're talking about NFL Sunday ticket. We did post a story earlier today um, where a where YouTube TV's community manager posted a ton of details about answering common questions. And it looks YouTube TV's base package is not changing at all. Um, any changes are really going to come over on the uh, uh NFL Sunday ticket, which is a separate add-on, which has its own rules, own DVR rules, own limitations, and more. So keep that in mind. Ronnie, FL Michigan Gander, good to have you here. So where is everybody from tonight? Uh, let's start there. Where is everybody from? Let me know. If you're watching anything good, let me know that. There are a lot happening with uh, TV shows. Tomorrow, I'm watching the final episode of Picard. I have greatly enjoyed this season of Picard. Probably one of the best Star Trek shows that's come out in the last 10 years. Very, very happy with um, the season of Picard. No one be spoiling anything tomorrow because I can't watch until probably 8 o'clock. Texas, Michigan, Florida, West, St. Louis, Missouri, um, all over. Oklahoma, everybody's from everywhere. Kentucky, New Jersey, great to see so many people here. All right. So will we see Dish and Direct TV tear down their satellite, their, uh, take their satellites down and replace them with low Earth orbit satellites? Honestly, I don't think they will. But I believe in 10, 20 years, who knows how long, they're just not going to replace the satellites that are up there. At some point, low Earth orbit satellite internet from Amazon, SpaceX, and more that are being built will mean everybody will have high speed internet, which means everybody could go and get uh, you know, a streaming version of Direct TV, Sling TV, et cetera which means there's no need to have a big expensive dish put in the space. It's much cheaper for them to do streaming versus airing it over there. Um, so we'll keep a close eye on it, but I think that's what's going to happen. I think eventually they'll just be streaming and people who live in rural area will have fixed wireless. We'll have like an internet service like SpaceX or Amazon and more options. And once that kind of happens, there's just no need for anything else um, when it comes to traditional satellite. I'm also a believer in 10 years, TV as we know it today is going to look very different. I think in 10 years, it won't surprise me at all. He is a direct to consumer. NFL has a package that stream, you know, someday in 20 years, maybe has a package that streams directly to consumers and bypasses NBC, Fox, et cetera. We'll see how it works out. Our thoughts on um, uh, Michelle. I apologize. I don't really know how to pronounce her last name. My, my, I'm a Dutch. I got a Dutch last name. No one pronounces it. My thoughts, I absolutely loved her. And Discovery ended up not being one of my favorites. Of course, I have not watched the most recent season. And I really should give it a try. But her character in season one was a shame they got rid of it. I'm glad they brought her back as the Empress. She is a very good actor. Her, her performance is probably the best in the whole show. Uh, one of the best in the whole show because there's a lot of really good actors. But I'm um, very excited to see she's coming back. It'll be interesting to see how this movie event comes together. When is Philo adding movies? Friendly has. We don't know. No announcements, no timeline. Um, they did just announce today, though, that Philo is adding the USA Today Network, which uh, I believe is replacing Bloomberg. It's another news lifestyle ch channel. A little less on the business news, more on general news, and more on lifestyle content with that. Brother John, nothing to worry about if you missed last week. It's on replay. We're going to be putting these up here. Um, and, you know, I appreciate everybody's support. I thank everybody for coming in an hour earlier. Hopefully you saw it in the newsletter. We put I put it at the end of the Q&A, and I posted it on social media today. So very excited to see everybody here. Hope you like these. Let me comment. Let me know. I fully agree. Friendly, if you aren't a sports fan, you just want some background TV. I mean, it's got a lot. The History Channel, Hallmark, TV. The list goes on and on. Friendly is a great buy for $7 a month. Will low Earth orbits be affected by weather or higher orbit, uh, by weather as higher orbit ones are? In theory, yes, but they're so low to their Earth orbit, there's a lot more of them. So in theory, they can skip it in and do stuff, and they hopefully will be less affected. But yeah, um, just like with satellite TV, it can be affected. But 
not in the same way. Very, very different. Very, much less likely to be a total um, issue there. Tableau is okay um, to buy um, after ATSC. Due to, yeah, so Tableau, I, if you really want one, I would get one. Um, if you don't need upgrade right now, I would wait to see if I'll get an ATSC 3.01. At some point, the older standards will go away, and you will need a new one in order to watch over there TV, or at least record it with the Tableau DVR. I definitely agree about TV being a lot different over the years. In 2010, Cable and Sally it was uh, – and, uh, was mostly relevant. Now they're losing relevance while streaming gets crowded. Yeah. You know what? This month starts marks nine years since I started Core Cutters News, about 10 years since I became a core cutter. And if you had told me that I mean, over half of Americans will not be paying for cable today, I wouldn't have believed you back then. I didn't think in nine years that would happen. But it's been nine years, and look at us now. Core cutting is going faster than ever, so I suspect it will only get faster with that. What's the are the available options just, um, to share an OTA signal, preferably something that doesn't require a full time internet connection? Um, so I'm assuming when you say share, you mean stream your antenna across multiple TVs, right? Tableau DVR is one, HD Home Run, there's a few others. Um, Tableau DVR and others will work on a Wi Fi network without internet, but there's a lot of limitations. It doesn't work great. Um, you're not able to update the guide, for example, you need the internet to do that. But if you're just looking to stream across multiple devices, Air TV, Tableau DVR, HD Home Run, or the three right off the top of my bed, my head, any other devices out there like that, I'm just blanking out on a name. Somebody leave me a comment let me know. But um, HD Home Run and Tableau DVRs will work without internet inside your home, but they do miss features, and it's not the greatest experience. All right, here's a big one that may surprise a lot of people. Netflix was still renting DVDs. Um, Netflix, remember when Netflix was going to rename the DVD service to Quickster? And everybody like rebelled. And there was like, this is a dumb idea. I had all kinds of negative PR. And then they said, oh, that was a bad idea. We'll just be Netflix. And then like a year later, they quietly changed the name from the DVD service over to called DVD.com, a Netflix company, which is an ingenious, much better name than Quickster. But yes. They announced that that's going to shut down. Uh, apparently, though, it's not making much money. 0.5% of all revenue at Netflix comes from DVD rentals. And that's down 20% um, in the first quarter of 2023 compared to 2022. So it doesn't surprise me they're going away. Uh, you'll be billed through August of your habit. And then in August, you're, that'll be your final bill. And at September 29th, I think it was, will be the last day to mail DVDs. And if you have a few, and you'll be able to use it until they shut down the service, you have until sometime in October to return the discs. They do say they will bill you if you don't return your disc. But um, yeah, it definitely, uh, uh, end of an era, 25 years of mailing DVD, kind of coming to an end. NYC says, did you know that the Yankees Hellcast and Prime uses um, Thursday Night Football on Prime theme? That's interesting that they're using the graphics or at least the music for Thursday Night Football. The more I think about it, the more I want to see you know, Michael's call, right? Yeah. A little crossover, get get some golf announcers and get some uh, football announcers and golf. That's how it goes. I've been a cord card for six years, a lot different now. A lot more options. Yeah, when I cut the cord, there was no live TV services. There was no Sling TV, YouTube TV, PlayStation View. It came pretty quick after I cut the cord, but it was not there at the time. Uh, Christine says, in my city, there are red box kiosks all over the places. People who still want the, uh, to rent DVDs use those now. I agree with you. I think that's a big reason why Netflix went away. So much stuff is streaming. If it's A, you can't get streaming, or B, you don't want streaming, Redbox has a lot. Question for how long? Uh, and here's a trivia fact for people. Do you know who the owner of Redbox is? This may surprise you. But who owns Redbox? What famous book? company that's known for their books is now the owner of Redbox. so leave me a comment let me know i know the answer I'll tell you on a second um i do hope physical media is still around well, most of the collectors i do agree that i hope it's around um there's still people who need it and years from now probably won't be to be honest with you we are seeing an increasing number of tv shows no longer put their seasons out on dvds and even movies not come to dvds unless they're a big blockbuster Robert says Redbox is no longer available in his area. 
That kind of surprises me. It seems like every Walgreens and Walmart has one, but I guess it doesn't. Maybe it shouldn't surprise me that they're slowly figuring them out. All right, we got a winner. Chicken Soup for the Soul. Who here ever read a Chicken Soup for the Soul book? Anybody? Famous um, Christian book series. A bunch of little fun stories that all often had a moral thing to them. So keep in mind. Hey, Chris, you're not that late. We just started like 15 minutes ago. Yes, we are going to test out today, 7 to 8. Works much better with my schedule, but yes, I'll move on. Uh, Redbox is our own streaming service now. Their kiosks will probably go away soon, maybe. But did you know that Redbox is owned by the same people who own Crackle, Chicken Soup for the Soul, and there's one other one I thought streaming service they have. But yeah, Chicken Soup for the Soul is a major streaming service company out there that most people don't know about. It doesn't surprise me all that Netflix is finally getting out of the DVD business. Everything is pretty much digital and on demand. Yeah, for most people, I think that's why. When it's only 0.5% of your audience and its revenues drop 20% in one year, you can see why they're shutting it down. What is the next big thing? Sports. I think it's sports going more direct to consumers, streaming their content like Major League Soccer now does through online with uh, Apple TV. Rumor is a lot of Pat Cole football will be streaming. I think sports going streaming is the next big thing we're going to Can you pair a Roku voice remote to a Roku Express that comes with a simple remote? I believe so. Yes, you can. Now, when you go to the Roku, um, Roku voice remote page and you buy it, it lists the model numbers. You just look at the bottom of your Roku, look at the model number, go to the Roku voice remote page when you buy it, and see if it's listed there for support. So yes, um, the current over the air TV standards is, um, Steve's wondering if his Tableau will last just five years after ACSC 3.0 comes out. Um, so the FCC has said that they have to maintain the current 1.0 standard, which is what's in the current Tableaus for five more years after they launch um, the 3.0 standard in the market. After that happens, after the five years, you shut that down, you will need to get an, either an adapter or buy a new one for it to keep working. And they're just, the technology in it, it's just not going to be supported anymore. Deborah has a great point here. Um, if I can't find it, um, if I can't find something older, I usually find it the, the DVD in my library. Your library, either with DVDs or with a streaming service, is an amazing option for cord cutters. Check it out. NYC says, I read that anime is still thriving on physical media, despite um, um, streaming being dominant. Um, I like the, uh, Dean's Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays, um, has the American well, um, original cast, I'm guessing, and streaming doesn't. Yeah, so anime is one of the few kind of weird things. For one, for example, if you want the original voice cast of Evangelion, the TV show, you have to buy the special limited edition collector's edition. Um, and even though Funimation and Crunchyroll is bringing a lot of content to uh, streaming, there's still a lot of over there, or uh, excuse me, sorry, a lot of anime that's not streamed online and can only be got with a DVD. Someday they're going to have to fix that. NBA is the only big four major sport that doesn't have a free channel. Will they, will they end up making one? Maybe their TV rights are up for renewal next year, I believe. I know NBC's even talking about wanting to get rights back to NBA. So I think a lot will happen after they renew their rights and they'll have a lot more options. Look for NBA to be very different here in a few seasons. You're right. Redbox does do a lot of game rentals. It's a great way to rent games if you have kids out there with that. All right. If you have a question, ask it. I didn't answer your question and your question kind of floated up to the top and kind of vanished. Re-ask it. I'll do my best to answer. Will Arsons, like Bally Sports Network, make a deal before May 6th? Or will Arson Bally Sports, that particular one, make a deal before May 6th? Just found out on the Core Carters um, News app. Yeah, so Bally Sports failed to pay the Reds until May 6th to make a payment to them. If they don't, the game on May 6th will revert to TV rights to Major League Baseball, and it's expected to be streamed online. 
and I think they're trying to get it, deals in place for um, cable and satellite to make sure it's available in market as best they can. We'll have to wait and see how it all comes out. But I will not be surprised if Bally Sports drops one or two teams. They've kind of talked about there's a few teams that have contracts that are not favorable to them, and there's been rumors that they may be in, uninterested in keeping those particular ones because just it's a lot of money or they're losing money on the contract, basically. Here's a fun one. Steve says, VR is getting big. Can you stream a VR? Yes, there are quite a few uh, VR headsets that will stream TV. I think that can stream just can do Meta and a few other ones. Too. Maybe that was another service. I struggle with this a little bit. Um, actually, about five years ago at CES, I was in a pretty major meeting with a large media company. I'd say. And they asked my opinion. And my opinion has not changed at all on this in five years. That... Well, some people may want to watch VR when they're by themselves. I don't think VR is ever going to fully replace traditional TV. And a lot of people talked about it. And there's three reasons for that. One, I don't want to wear a VR headset in bed. Two, I'm often doing other things as I um, am watching TV. So either cleaning my house, working on my laptop, whatever it may be. Playing with the kids, having the TV run. Um, and finally, I'm often watching TV with people. And when I'm watching TV with people, if I'm watching like a Michigan football game, I'm watching it with my dad and cousin, grandma's house, whatever. I want to be able to watch it as a communal thing, not with all of us wearing headsets and not able to see each other or interact with each other. It kind of removes the point of doing it. So for that reason, I don't think flat panel TVs at this time or whatever they may morph into will go away. I think that communal experience, that, the fact that, I'm laying in bed, I don't want to wear a headset, or I'm working on other stuff, I don't want to necessarily have a headset on, um, will go away. So I don't think VR is going to fully be replaced by, uh, or fully replace traditional TV. I just don't. Now, if I'm by myself and I'm doing something, it could be cool to watch a football game or whatever in VR. But I don't believe it's going to be nearly the disruptor in the TV world that people um, said it was going to be. And I've noticed that that's kind of toned down. Um, they're not talking about it as much. It's not um, as often um, we push. Anymore. So we'll see what happens with it. Let me know what you think. Do you think VR will become um, that? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Sorry, I don't know who that is with that. All right. NYC says, um, if some teams leave, Bally Sports will MLB Network produce the, those uh, local games while the local announcers and cameras are kept. That's a good question that we don't have full answers to. AT&T Sportsnet, which now sounds like they're going to run through the end of the season and then shut down, has said that they'll just turn over their equipment and announcers and all that to Major League Baseball and the local teams. Valley Sports has not. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, but, you know, you would assume that the local announcers, which are for the team, and Valley Sports isn't doing it, their contracts are going to be canceled and they would be free to maybe pick up a contract with Major League Baseball. We'll see how it goes. All right, keep it coming. NYC says, uh, and he's right, what's interesting about Canadian NHL teams is their regional sports um, rights are centralized through TSN, which is kind of like their ESPN, and Sportsnet. In the U.S., it's decentralized. Yeah, so they kind of realized for a little while um, that there, there was more money by having all these RSNs. And this was back in the you know heyday of cable TV, having all these regional things. Instead of having ESPN try to produce all this stuff, you know, how do you do it all live, all that kind of stuff. And now, though, the problem is RSNs has become a not profitable model. It's no longer profitable to do it. So we'll see how it all plays out. But I do believe that in four or five years, you know, sports TV is probably going to look a lot different than it does now. Uh, Brother John says, I've been core card for four years now. Uh, before I left, cable, I paid $320 plus $10 for sports channels. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I, I cut the cord when I was at like 120 or so. 320 is amazingly expensive. Ah, so that's what it is. Name the um, figure that Picard has in his study. Well, Jared, good to have you here. So keep your questions coming. Uh, probably just about another 20 minutes. My allergies are really bad. I don't know if you hear my voice being a little raspy. 
but I'm going to pop in another cough drop. All the pollen in there is getting my sinuses going, which kind of kills my voice. Yeah, some sports are live over there. I don't think there's going to be a mass flood of things going over there. A lot of people are like, oh, Major League Baseball should get over there. The problem is uh, most regional uh, networks don't want it. They have very profitable TV shows that don't require them spending tens of millions of dollars to pay in uh, Major League Baseball. Plus, the problem with it is it's only a very small window through the year, only a handful of games. Now you're talking about maybe disrupting primetime television or your uh, daytime news in a weird way. I don't think local over there TV stations and most markets are going to jump at the thing, at the idea of getting uh, Sorry, my internet actually weird for me. At least not the big over there networks won't jump on. Maybe the CW and others may jump on to get a few, but I don't suspect that a lot will. NYC says, I know NHL is going to be in trouble with our sins collapsing since NHL already has a stream deal with ES plan for our market. Might as well admit it in the for in market for those affected teams. Won't be surprised at all to find out that's what they're doing. We'll see how it plays out next season. Fortunately for them, their season's coming to an end. So they're going to have all summer to kind of deal with this situation where Major League Baseball has to deal with it as the year is going on. Chris, I still don't understand why people say streaming is more expensive than cable. If you ask me, it's cheaper. It is cheaper. We broke it down many ways. You just kind of have to run the numbers. A lot of people don't like running the numbers, and that's probably why. How healthy are NBC Sports RSNs? Well, Apparently okay for now, but there was talk about if NBC would be interested in buying up some ETV sports nets, and they said, no, thank you. We're good. <laughs> not interested. Uh, so that tells me probably they're not as profitable as they would like. Otherwise, they would probably happily pick up more if they thought it would be profitable. Clearly, they don't. Um, and there's been talk that NBC may someday follow the of others. We'll see how it all works out. But for now... Not a lot of talk around NBC News and what their future plans are. Jeff, I think with all things, it can get expensive. But as you saw some people here paying $320 a month, you can do a lot of streaming for $320. Bucks a month. I think our oh, – sorry, I just hit the microphone. Peacock, um, HBO Max, Disney Plus, and – one other, I reckon. Those four big ones. It was like 40 bucks a month to get all that. Way more content you could probably ever watch on all that. Uh, so we'll see what happens with it. But um, I don't think... The problem is, every time streaming becomes more expensive, so does cable. Cable goes up every year. YouTube TV goes up for the first time in multiple years. People are like, oh my gosh, it's getting expensive, too expensive. Well, Comcast has gone up like three times in that, or twice at least in that period. Keep that in mind. Peacock is doing is doing something with MLB and Sundays. Yeah, Peacock does it Friday night and on um, uh, over on uh, Apple TV too. They're, they're on several different streaming services. And I think it's one failure of Major League Baseball. So they're kind of fragmenting it a little bit. They're putting some content on Apple TV Plus, some on Peacock, some over here, some over there, and it makes it hard for people to watch Major League Baseball, which I think in the end will hurt them as a brand. I think they'll be smarter just they. Everything's going to ESPN Plus. Everything's going to Peacock. Everything's going here. Everything's going there. I think that better one is uh, having everything in one spot is a lot better. It depends on how many services you have. Oh, that's not the one. But yeah, I, switching between services is a great deal. I was trying to get this question here. There we go. I want to answer this before it goes away. I think Fire TV Recast may be discontinued. Have you heard rumors that Amazon may ever come out with a different newer DVR to replace it? No, they have announced that it is discontinued. They reportedly do not plan to continue to develop that. It was a fun experiment. It still works. You can still buy them. I think they're mostly, I don't know if they're selling them new still. But um, Amazon Fire TV Recast, which was a lot like a Tableau DVR, no longer is being developed, no longer for sale. Um, yeah, so this is kind of interesting. So TSN, which is the ESPN of Canada, easiest way to describe it, actually has a partnership with ESPN that, like, for instance, ESPN will air Canadian football using Canadian announcers. And sometimes 
the PSN will air ESP program in, in Canada for US events. I think it, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, but it doesn't surprise me that they once had to use announcers from another area because of travel or COVID probably was a big part of it at one point. Yeah, so here's a great thing about Petition. T-Mobile's home internet, 50 bucks a month. I've been hearing really good things about it. Of course, there's always somebody who says it doesn't work well, but most have been hearing really good things. Here's one, 150 down in Brooklyn. That's plenty fast to stream. Now, this is a pretty cool one. You are right. Philo and Friendly, at least for now, have kept their old subscribers grandfathered in at the old price. Really nice touch. I'll see how long they do it. We'll, we'll see. Bill, you are right. Last year, W Scripts over there, TV network owner, did announce that they have or did quietly buy Tableau's parent company, Nubio, and they now own it. We'll keep an eye on what they do. With it. Apparently, they got some big stuff. In my, in my new office, I do work out of the new office most days, but today I am at home here. Um, just easier. Uh, 7.30 here. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go hang out with the kids, get ready for bed. Yeah, I'm tired. But yeah, so someday, though, I may do some of these over at the office. It's not too far away. NBC um, Sports Chicago could shut down in 2024 with White Sox, Bulls, and Blackhawks starting their own regional sports network. Could happen. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Ultimately, a lot has to happen between now and then. It may make them not want to do that. We'll see. Nick, any word on Sling on pausing air TV sales? Yes, we posted about that last Friday. That Dish has temporarily based it. Pause the sale of Air TV devices. It started back when they had the security breach that knocked their whole website and everything offline. It looks like whatever reason their order process is um, uh, out of line or unavailable, unfortunately. So they say it's going to come back. No timeline when it's going to come back. I'm assuming restoring the sales of Tableau D or Tableau Air TVs is the low priority compared to everything else they had to rebuild when they were rebuilding the website. When will Jess and Philip come back? Unfortunately, both of them are no longer with us. I miss them dearly, especially uh, Jess. I knew Jess a lot better. Philip came in uh, all the time after I sold. He came in from the new company. Really nice guy. Though. I've kind of known him a little bit. Um, I'd love to have both of them come here. Hopefully someday, maybe. We'll see. Um, why doesn't um, Friendly... Add apps for LG and Samsung TV. Seems like they would uh, add viewers. Yeah, but overall, streaming percentage on LG and Samsung's are very small. You can buy a $29 Roku. I think most people are going that way. We'd love to have both of them do a cameo here. We'll see what happens. I'm very glad that Raymond came over here too. So we've got some more news about staffing coming up soon. Um, recently, it's just been... Uh, Becca, our um, CEO who does all the business side, Raymond and myself, now we're adding in another uh, person to kind of help with the news. I'm very excited for it. Luke, do you have any dibs as to when the new on box from Walmart will be available to buy? Yeah, so this is the 1999 box. It's a 4K Android TV powered streaming device from Walmart that is on their website, it's sitting there. Um, that will allow them to, uh, or it's going to start selling, but it's not for sale now. And some people posted that they saw them in stores when they tried to buy them, the registers wouldn't let them check out. And the store police said, hey, the message is we can't sell these. I would suspect maybe this week or next week at the latest probably will go live. All right. Um, but yeah, as soon as we can, we'll have full coverage when it's for sale for the new Walmart on boxes over there. I recently bought a new Chromecast. So far, I like it. It seems more user-friendly compared to Roku. Sadly, my Roku 2 and 3 from a few years back are getting very sluggish. Yeah, the Roku 2 and 3 are actually not a few years old. They're 5, 10, you know, five 8 years old range, depending on which one it is. So yeah, well, Roku 2 and Roku 3 are great. I still have mine, old ones. I had both. Very nice players. But they're HD only. They're five plus years old. 
up even more now, maybe six, seven years before it's cooled down. So it doesn't surprise me that going from a device that's six, seven years old to a current one, even if it was another Roku, will give you a much better experience. Will I do a halfway report, um, halfway report card video on the state of streaming in July? That's a good idea. Maybe. Um, I'm actually really excited about doing um, a new, uh, excuse me, doing a new uh, Cordy Awards. If you remember, we used to always do at the end of the year a big Cordy Award where you as readers would go out there and vote on your favorite this your favorite stream player live TV service, and we would give out awards based on what our readers said for best streaming player, best new streaming service, best live TV service, best on demand service, etc. Uh, we'll have to maybe see about that. Is my sound keep cutting out for anyone else, or is it just one person? How does Vidgo keep going without marketing? They do some marketing. They do. They send us a lot of press stuff that we cover. Um, they they don't market. I think with ads, they market a lot through stores and different places. Is YouTube TV better than direct TV? Now, this is a bigger question. Is any particular service better than others? And um, honestly, the answer is there is no real, um, there's really no wrong answer here. Sorry, I was reading people saying the sound is cutting out. We'll do this for about another 10 minutes. I'm not sure what's happening. I may need to um, do something with my microphone. Uh, but the reality of it is what you want is what's important here. For example, YouTube TV may have um, all the right channels for you, and that's great. If it doesn't, well, then unfortunately, uh, that's just not right for you, and then you want to get direct TV stream. That's the great thing about cord cutting. With cable, you get three packages. With cord cutting, there's hundreds. Just pick whichever one works best for you, which is pretty cool. All right, let me see if I unplug and replug my microphone one more time. I may have to get a new cable. I think that's what's happening is this cable's – quite old and I think it's kind of getting beat up. One second, I'm gonna pause the audio and then plug it back in. Let's see here, what audio source am I coming through? See, hopefully this is a better audio with it. Uh, will Direct uh, TV stream get NFL Red Zone? Totally could. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, sorry for the devil. I just wanted to listen to myself real quick. Um, could be bad wire. Yeah, I'll buy a new cable before next week. Uh, I do remember who with live TV recently got um, well, a new sports person. Yeah, there's been a lot of new sports spokespeople. Uh, Fubo hired Ryle Rent. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, whatever his name is, however you say it, uh, to help create ads, but he wasn't in it. Uh, it's definitely interesting. But yeah, it'll be, you know, I've said it before, there are more streaming services, both live and on demand, than the market can bear. Question is, um, how many will be successful? We'll see. All right, about 10 more minutes. Get your questions in. If I didn't answer them, re-ask them, and I will do my best to answer all the ones. And I will, I'll get a new cable for next week. I've had this same microphone. This is the same microphone I've had since I started doing these Q&As. So it doesn't surprise me that maybe for all the moves, three different homes, across the state lines, across the country, that maybe it's kind of finally being beat up. All right, so get those questions in. And let me know, anybody watching anything interesting, any, any movies or television show recommendations on streaming, leave one out there. As streaming service for news, well, what news do you want? I mean, there's a lot of news that's 100% free. You can go get CBS News, ABC News, NBC News streaming for free online. You can get a live TV service that has Fox, NBC, MSNBC, um, et cetera, with it. It really it comes down to whatever you want. And Tenet Man, I've talked to him a few times. We'd love to have him on a lot of our videos someday. Love to see how we can, once we get, you know, shooting a lot more out of the new studio, I'll probably do that. 
or Rewind TV get added to Friendly TV. Hopefully, I would email both of them and say, hey, I want you on Friendly TV or I want Rewind on your Friendly TV service. Email people, let them know. Top five free streaming services. Wow, good news about that. Go click on my channel name, go into the videos. I have top 10 like Fire TV free ones, top 10 Roku ones. I have whole videos about that. But you know, you definitely got the big five, which is probably Pluto TV, Tubi, uh, Zumo, uh, Crackle, uh, Plex, uh, Local Now. I mean, there's so many more than five I could go on forever, but there's a whole bunch of them to check out. What happened to the charge in my area? So charge station seems to whatever partnership they had with some networks, they left the air in a handful. Uh, Uh, they left before a, a handful of different markets out there uh, and are switching networks. So uh, unfortunately, if you go to Charge's website, you can click on find my channel and they'll show you all the areas with Charge. But yeah, it does seem like Charge has been replaced. Will Fubo ever add TNT again? Well, not at their current price. I would suspect that Fubo, in order to have TNT, would have to charge more money. So do you want to pay more money? It kind of is what it is. And that's the balance. People say, I want History Channel on the Roku or on YouTube TV. Excuse me. Well, History is owned by a and &E, And having a &E, uh, History Channel means you have to have all the a &E network, which probably means a lot more money on um, YouTube TV to pay for it. Or you have to drop ones out there. So it is what it is. Um. Oh, here. Hey, my question is, how you how did I end up back uh, doing this YouTube channel again? I'm sure glad you're back. So I bought back Core Cars News um, last year. Random who uh, had purchased Core Cars News reached out to me and said, hey, uh, we're looking to sell Core Cars News, and we will give you an opportunity to buy it first. Uh, we had some of the negotiations. They're very helpful. Everything went very well. Very pleased with how it happened. And Give me a good price I couldn't say no to. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have said no. I'm kidding. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be back. Never thought I would. Don't regret selling. Uh, gave all the employees the ability to get health benefits and all that. Um, don't regret it at all. Gave me the opportunity to move back home to Michigan to be by my wife and my family. Um, but uh, in the end, uh, I'm also very happy to be back here. Uh, I'm also very happy that you all hang out. I know we're still rebuilding. It's going to take a long time to kind of rebuild Core Cars News. Uh, but I'm very, very happy to be here and very, very happy for everybody's support. Thank you so much for that. Yes, yeah, Newsy, the news network, has now been rena renamed to Scripps News. You know that now a whole lot of change other than graphics, packages, and more. But yep, yeah, Newsy is now called Yeah, I would like to see the Roku channel on the Apple TV. I thought at one time it was. Is it not now? Maybe it never was. And I'm just misremembering on that. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> I love that. Uh, the uh, ringleader of the Cowboy of Cord Cutting. Cowboys of Cord Cutting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I've enjoyed this. I honestly, you know, the number one thing I missed once I sold was YouTube. Uh, the core cutting today show is probably one of my favorite things. The Q and A's are my favorite. I kind of figure out maybe this is the best time for it. Um, unfortunately, eight to nine, just too late for me now that I'm in here and now that I have more younger kids. Uh, but YouTube is actually one of my favorite parts of this. this is what I kind of miss the most when I sold. Will Comcast drop data caps if they have more competition? Studies have shown that data caps either go up or disappear in many areas once there's three or more legitimate internet competition. So will they? Maybe. Should they? Probably. I hope they do. Uh, I think there is a good chance that someday in the future, data caps will be a thing of the past. Let's see, but for our data caps are really an attempt to get more money. I'm just trying to charge you more money. Uh, I got to stop putting my hands. The camera keeps trying to focus on them. I'm trying to put more money into, I got to put it from my face at least. Uh, maybe you pay more for internet by having data caps. Uh, don't worry about being late. I'll have a full replay. Everything will 
just be available for replay if you missed any part of the Q&A. What service works best for OTA in mobile devices? You can get HD Home Run, a Tableau DVR, et cetera, Slate TV, Air TV, and then stream your antenna to your mobile device through their apps. Oh, here's a good question. Tomorrow um, at noon Eastern, T-Mobile has a big announcement. And it sounds like, from what leaks have said, it's just the reconfiguring their packages. It's going to call, be the Magenta plans are now going to be called Go 5G plans. And the Go 5G will be kind of um, built in around a bunch of different um, packages with that or to get the details. But it seems a little weird. If they're just renaming the packages, I suspect that there's also some changes to the packages, good or bad. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, we'll have full coverage of what T-Mobile announces tomorrow at noon Eastern right here on you, uh, corecarsnews.com. Head over to corecarsnews.com. We'll have full posts. T-Mobile doesn't have data caps. Neither does Verizon. And a growing number of other internet services that are launching are data cap free. Thank you, NYC, for sharing the video. Yeah. Let me know. How do you guys like those? I'm kind of thinking of doing more videos like that. I did one on Amazon Home Internet, kind of telling everybody what we know about it. Think about doing more. Let's talk about a specific topic. Max being rebranded. Amazon Home Internet, et cetera, with it. Let me know what you think of that. Um, the YouTube TV deal for you for T-Mobile is over. It was good for a year. The year is over. It's dead. So um, if you didn't get it, you're out of luck. It's not coming back, I don't believe. All right. So, man, we're just kind of all over the place today with the camera and the microphone. Um, I'm going to wrap this up today, folks. My voice is going for about 50 minutes. A um, few things here. I really do want to say thank you, everybody, for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let's YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. I really do appreciate it. Um, let's take one more question. There's a good question here. Will 5G and home internet service eventually eat Charter and um, Comcast and Charter launch once they're more established? What do worry um, about day caps for too much longer? Um, eventually, I think especially in more rural areas, these will. I think Comcast and Charter, et cetera, won't go away from there. It seems. There's a lot of people who do need that very high end quality. You know, like this. I'm uploading. I want to. I want a good upload better than what 5G and what satellite can give me. But for most people, you're not streaming on YouTube like I do. So 5G satellite is perfect for you. Um, so I do believe um, that they will roll that up. All right, last question, and then we're going to wrap this up because it's almost been 50 minutes and my voice is going. Is YouTube TV actually getting multi-view or not? Yes, YouTube TV is getting multi-view. It will be available this fall in time for uh, NFL Sunday Ticket. They did beta test it, a beta test for March Madness that went very well. All right. I think we're going to keep the 7 p.m. time. So next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube. I'll be live. Check tomorrow for another Core Cutting Today video. I'll have a special video this weekend. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I can't wait for spring allergies to go away so my voice doesn't get too weak. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care. Be safe. Have a great night, everybody. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Good night, everybody.